I've always loved music. At first, I wanted to do it for the recognition of you know, just being a star. Uh, not even being a star, but just having my songs heard all over the radio, everybody knowing me, being famous, you know. That's actually what it was at first. Until I think I met a friend a long time ago, and his name is Boyce. He challenged me. I did a favorite song, a song that was so good to me, to my standard, and I played for him, and he actually laughed, not because the song wasn't good, but what I was talking about was just common, what everyone is talking about. And he told me, that's all you got? If that's all you got, I can show you a whole lot of people doing the same thing that are really good at it. And I was like, oh, okay, I have to go back to the drawing board. What can I do that is different? And I realized to be different, I have to be original. I have to completely ignore what is out there, ignore who is out there, ignore what people are talking about, what people are doing. Forget about the trend and set a trend, to be a trendsetter. I have to lock myself away from the world so I can create something that is not in the world. I have to create something that is completely out of this world. So by the time it's out, it will be new. It will be different. It will be fresh. It will be completely unique. Consciously, I may have oversized in the minds of these chosen And to those who look not forgiving Maintaining and catering to what belongs to dust and chilling Then it seems like it's all feeling Consciously, I may have oversized in the minds of these chosen And to those who look not forgiving Maintaining and catering to what belongs to dust and chilling Then it seems like it's all feelings Ask questions if you know not what no guess what, yeah. except your denim and your white chalk I see you acting like a cyborg I don't blame you, you need to wake up to what's up Jesus is what's up, so tell the world yeah. Bring And when I started do, thinking that mentality Because everything is about, it starts in the, you know, your mentality When you think about it, whatever you think about You're going to end up becoming Whatever you think about, you're going to end up doing So I started thinking of just doing different And... I had, a, I think, some, a, a guy, I was in D.C. at the time, a guy walked up to me and said something that was so random, and he was a Hispanic person. He didn't even know how to speak English. And mind you, my song was everything but positive. <laughs> and he said to me, hey, uh, Jesus want to use you. You know, Jesus want to... Uh, he want to use you. you know? I was like, okay, <laughs> it's so strange, you know, okay, like... I didn't even understand what it said because it was in Spanish. It was a long time that I actually found, I, I knew what Jesus meant. And then he said to me that uh, Jesus said, if I give him my talent, it's going to take me to places I couldn't take myself. That was a long time ago. I did not understand it at all. I just took it for just dude said that that's what he thought I should know. But as time go on, it stuck in my mind. It keep playing that this kind of music I used to write, the things I used to like in the songs, I started listening to what I was saying. I started like picturing little kids repeating it, you know, and I realized I didn't like that. And I, I remember there's a time I was invited to uh, sing at Hard Rock Cafe in DC. It was at a charity event. And I'm standing there in the midst of these kids and I'm about to sing a song talking about shake that. And I literally saw myself censoring myself. I couldn't even say no word because nothing was good enough for me to say in front of the kids. And I was like, that's not me. I wasn't going to ever do that again. I just told myself, standing on that stage, if I could just get off this stage, I would not do this again. And that was the end of it for me. I remember leaving that stage that day and I just wanted to do different kind of music, something that I could sing in front of everybody without worrying what they were going to think. And as time goes on, I started seeing me talking about good, 
about love, about helping people, about loving people, about forgiving people, about... And then before you know it, I was talking about Jesus. I didn't know how it started. It just went from the guy telling me that Jesus wants to use me. If I give him my talent, it's going to take me to where I couldn't take myself. I didn't know what it meant. I still haven't figured it out yet. Which I'm kind of understanding because to me, I thought that where he was going to take me was going to be where everything was perfect. You know, like set me up. I was going to be good. But man, did, I, did he take me through the struggle? He took me in the wilderness. And that's a different story entirely for another day. Stealing first thing, Chris, Lord, you know you I adore you. Covenant me, restoring life when you give and while you kept your word lost. In discovery, I was when I took my hands into my hands and thought I was the boss. When he called, I was chilling, dealing with my feelings, hate you, like I couldn't let you in. I wasn't clean enough. I was making that money, I was making moves. I was calling Sean, looking cute and chasing boobs. What can I tell you? I did it all. So thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Consciously, I metamorphosize in the minds of these chosen. And to those who look not forgiven. Maintaining and catering to what belongs to dust and chilling. Then it seems like it's all feelings. Consciously, I metamorphosize in the minds of these chosen. And to those who look not forgiven. Maintaining and catering to what belongs to dust and chilling. Then it seems like it's all feeling consciously. I metamorphosize in the minds of these chosen. And to those who look not forgiven. Maintaining and catering to what belongs to dust and chilling. It seems like it's all feelings Consciously, I metamorphosizing the minds of these chosen And to those who look not forgiven Maintaining and catering to what belong to dust and chilling Then it seems like it's all feelings Uh-huh Uh-huh Tell me, yeah, yeah Aaron Joe, I'm here to let you know Uh-huh Consciously, I made them oversize in the minds of these chosen And to those who look not forgiven Maintaining and catering to what belongs to dust and chilling Then it seems like it's all feelings <laughs>